Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Modded Art. Gonna be doing a little bit of taming today, a little bit of crafting. So one of the things I wanna do is check out the new hammer and hatchet that they have. That's kind of with this mod pack that I'm using. And then I think we're gonna tame with one of the Diplos today. Not the big Bronto looking ones, but the little ones that you can use as like a little mobile air tank. That way we can do some diving, check out what's around here, grab silica pearls and stuff like that because I wanna set this up as a kind of like a breeding area. And we need to get generator, uh, the S plus nanny going. And what is going on over here? Is that the Rex out there tearing that up? Hey, well, let's go out there and try to get some of that meat and stuff. I mean, might as well while we can, right? Hopefully there's no raptors around. We're good. But yeah, we'll get all that done. And then that way, whenever we go to do some wolf breeding, the nanny will go ahead and do all the imprints for us, and we won't have to worry about it. I don't think we're going to mess with that Rex right now. I think we're going to kind of leave the Rex. We'll save that for kind of like later on. There's other things I want to tame, and we're not going to be using Rexes anytime soon. So let's go ahead and get rid of this dude. There's Griffins I want to tame. There's some of the new creatures that's specific to this map. It's like an alpha wolf. Definitely want to get some of those tamed, and yeah, we're just... We, we don't have the space for Rex and stuff like that, so let's get rid of him. He's obviously causing problems. Give us some good levels. But let's go over here. We're going to use a harpoon launcher for taming that little Diplo. Or for at least getting them netted up. And there's one that's right over on that island that we saw over near the, kind of like the swamp. That's the one we'll be going for. Let's put this into, oh dude, you're like hurt bad. Let's put this all into damage. You're going to need it. And I think the rest of that will be fine for the moment. So, let's see what we need. So, the main thing we need for the S Plus Nanny is human hair. So, we're going to need to make some scissors. And I have never cut my hair in the two years I've been playing on this character. So, we need obsidian. I think we need that for the harpoon, too. We do. So, we need to go get 55 obsidian. We'll probably just take the pterodon out. I think there was some... Wasn't it over by where we did the tame for the wolf? He needs to sit here and heal up anyways. Let me make sure I got my submit pace going. I do. We got 110. That should be enough. Alright, let's throw this dude out. We'll run up there and grab that. It shouldn't be that far. Let's put this into speed. I think I'm going to level all his stuff into speed. Because that way we can use him for like getting around fast because dude I really want to do some of the exploring probably in the next video over that way. Is that a flock of birds? That is so weird Looks awesome though, but I want to do some exploring and it'll be nice to do it on him because he's already fast Then if we put some points into speed, he'll be super fast. Maybe get him up around 200% or so That's actually obsidian right there. We gotta watch out for wolves. So we just need 55, and we'll be good for now. We won't be able to get the nanny probably done in this one. It needs a lot of resources. But I at least want to go ahead and get started. I'm not sure how much you get on the hair, because I've never done it. And we need 50 human hair. So trimming like sheep or something else won't work. It has to be actual human hair. Dude, is that pterodon stuck in the wall? I think he's stuck in the door. Poor dude, he'll run out of stamina before too long. Alright, let's see what we got. First things first. Oh, I think we need to make it in the smithy. Cool, there's one. And then, for the harpoon launcher, all we need is four polymer. That's not bad. We can go over and get some from the penguins. Let's do this first. Ah, uh, dude, look how shaggy he is, man. Oh, dude, never been trimmed. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like the first day. I kind of like that. The beard, no hair. I still got 20 from that. Uh, we should leave a little bit of fur. Nah, let's get rid of all of it. 
And 10 from that. So that's 30. We need 50. So we'll have to do that again before we can make the nanny. Hmm, interesting. Well, let's go grab some polymer. Probably take the wolf out. Let's keep that and that. We'll just drop the rest. I think it'll be fine. We'll heal them up along the way. Throw all this junk into here. Because we do got some polymer. I guess we used it. I was going to say there was some in there. That is so awesome that it actually keeps in there longer, you know? And I need to repair all this stuff, man. Ah, oh, dude. Haven't moved our door yet, either. <laughs> it's a lot of little stuff to do. There we go. Cool, so it should be just a quick run over here. What is that? That's a little patchy, it looks like. Grab some of the penguins. Hopefully there's a couple left. And then I think we only need a four, so maybe we'll kill two or three. I want to leave some so they can respawn. There's a lot going on back there with the galleys. Oh! I need to come, more, come get some more chitin from those things. I've used up almost all that I had. But it's kind of nice. I keep seeing those little packs of bugs everywhere, and they were kind of annoying at first, but dude, all the chitin and stuff I need and cement paste kind of helps out this early on. Oh, it's a Carno. Buddy, leave me alone. I look so weird with no facial hair. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't like it. Alright. Oh, jump off. Don't take damage. You're kind of in squishy shape as it is. What is that? Is that just marks? Oh, dude, the Carno came down here. What? Sorry, we'll take him out. Oh, it's at a level 95. That's why we need a wolf pack, man. I killed it off a lot faster than I thought it was gonna. Let's put it all into damage. We'll use his damage, high damage, to kind of counter the low health and squishiness that he has with no saddle. Did we kill off all the penguins? Little buddies, man. I just need like two or three of you. Possibly? Maybe just one? Oh, there's some there. It's a little bit laggy over here. Dude, have you got any friends? There's five. I think we only need to four. We'll take some extras just in case. Because I do want to check out at least that hammer. Oh, dude, the hammer looks awesome. It's part of the mod pack. Alright, that should be good. Cool, alright, I'm gonna head back. We'll get the hammer made, we'll get the harpoon launcher made. Oh, you know what? We're gonna need more anyways, because I gotta make up the... the nets. And that requires polymer. Anyways, I'll farm up some more of this, and I will see you back at base. Turns out, a little bit further down the beach, and there was a ton of those things. So there's some electronics that we will be needing. And we got enough polymer to make up our nets. Is that a... Is that a raptor? That's an orva raptor. I'm gonna say, don't be coming around my base, man. Alright, close you up, just in case. Right, so... Let's take... These... We'll throw them into here. Let's put you down there. All right, one of those, and then we need to make some nets. We make 10? Oh, we can, fantastic. I was hoping to get at least one or two, but we actually got 10 out of it. I hear something out there. Dude, the wrecks are just like nonstop, man. It's crazy. Gotta get some of those things put out, the, um, the turrets. So. Let's look at the weapons. And then let's see, can we make one of you two? We can, nice. Put those into there. So there's a hatchet. And there's a hammer. So I don't know if they're supposed to replace the normal hatchet and hammer. 
or if it, I mean, hatchet and pick, or if it's just like another weapon. Let's do some testing. Alright, so. Normal hatchet. 37.5. A lot less. And that is a lot more. Oh my gosh, that's a lot more. So what does it do on rocks? 25 stone. Flint and metal. That does hardly anything. I mean, that grabs more than that, too. So that hammer is definitely what we should be using. That's like a, a pick and a hatchet all in one. We'll have to see how it does with, like, regular metal and stuff, like actual metal nodes. You might still need the pick for those. Hmm, I like it. We'll get rid of... We'll get rid of that Rex. We'll get rid of... Let's uh, empty our inventory. We'll get rid of our hatchet for right now. And we'll let the hammer kind of replace it. All right, man. Let's go get rid of this Rex. Just got this guy all healed back up, too. First of all, what level is it? He's over there munching all my stuff. An 85. Holy crap, dude. Stop, man. Stone and wood is not in your diet. I promise you. Uh, I, I mean, unless you need a toothpick. I can understand if you need a toothpick. The big teeth. All the meat you eat. They are kind of pointy. Uh, never mind. I'm sorry. I kind of see why you were doing that. And now I feel bad. <laughs> the guy just needs like a toothbrush, man. Nice, nice. Drop this little bit of junk. I said, we kind of need to keep the rest. All right, so let's grab. We just need to get some darts ready, and then we'll be able to head over and start some taming. We got that one and that one. So we can make 22 of those. What do we have in here? 27. We'll probably take both of these. Let's repair this one. I want to use this this one because it's like... Oh, wait. That's what I want. It's um less damage, I think, on them. We don't have any narcotics, really. I mean, we got a little bit, but just not really that much. I don't know how much we're going to need, so we'll try this and see how it goes. So that'll give us, like, almost 50. And I don't think they need a saddle to ride them. Oh, we got a bunch in here. Oh, dude, we're good. Oh, we are so good. We'll take some extra arrows just in case. Well, we don't have any more there. Let's, um... I'll just make them all up. I'll just make up all of them. And we'll go from there. Nice, so I think we're ready, right? Let's put the... Ammo into here. Get all reloaded. We are taking the wolf and the pterodon. We'll fly over on that. We'll do it off of him because we can... Shoot off of this guy. And it should make it easier. I'm hoping we'll be able to kill stuff off with the wolf, too. So we don't have to trap him. Close that for safety. All right, buddy. We'll put you into there for a few minutes. How's your weight? Fantastic. All right, buddy. Come on. We got stuff to do today. So I think whenever we tame this guy, we got to put all of his points into oxygen. So he doesn't use oxygen, but his oxygen stat is what we use kind of like to breathe underwater. And I think he's supposed to be fairly fast. So it should be a pretty good tame instead of using a regular skewer tank. I just want to do something a little bit different, you know. And then we'll work on getting silica pearls and stuff like that for more electronics and all that good stuff. I haven't seen too many of the tech creatures for killing, so that's usually where I get all my electronics from, you know? 
take parasaurs and stegos and stuff. Oh yeah, we'll have to check out up here too. So apparently some of the dead creatures you can get polymer from. Let's go ahead and throw this guy out. There's our wolf. All right. Hopefully he's still right up here. Thought it was by the rocks. Oh man, hope he didn't die. I didn't even think about coming over here for a chitin. I mean, it's a swamp, you know? It's a snake. Okay, albino. Fantastic. Little buddy, where you at, man? Maybe in the water? Try to see if we can see anything moving in the water. It's kind of weird. The water's like all moving itself, so... I know there's Sarkos over here. So here's one of the dead creatures. That should give us... Oh, dude, look at all that polymer! There's a Sarko. Level 25. Let's kill him off. I don't know what that was. Another Sarko. Dude, at least there's not any Capros around here, you know? Kind of a neat looking swamp, man. Oh, there is Capros. I see them over there. I wonder if they're killing off all the, uh... All the Diplos. Alright, tell you what. Give me a minute. Let me try to find one. I want to go back over here and try to find that 140 that we saw the first time we were over here. I really hope it's still here. Drop some of this weight, too. That is way too much rotten meat. Is that him there? Dude, where did you, where'd you go, man? That's a 130. That is not the one we saw. The one we saw was a 140, but, I mean, he'll do. Oh, don't run! Yeah, I didn't see anything anywhere. I saw some of the... I forget what they're called. The ones you can use as kind of like a little air conditioner. There's a couple of those over here. I wonder what happened to that 140. Ah, oh, dude, that would have been so nice to have that higher level one. I'm stuck. <gasps> I didn't mean to hit him! Dude, my, my bow and arrow's stuck. There we go. Must have been getting off the wolf. Dude, I totally bit him right in the head, man. <laughs> Hopefully he's got high health. I don't want to kill him. Oh, there's that other guy there I was talking about. We'll have to net this guy again if he gets out. Buddy, don't go far, man. Why would there not be piranhas in here? Alright, I want to kill the piranha, not the not the dude we're trying to tame. Is he over here? Dude, where did he go, man? Wait, was that him? That's him. Is that him? That's a frog. That's a piranha. Buddy, where did you go, man? Did he... 
He didn't pass out. Ah, oh, man, we lost that guy twice. Wait, is that him? Well, oh, piranha. That's the other piranha. Dude, I tell you what. Ah, oh, he's gonna lose all of his torpor, man. Check over here. Yeah, oh, that's a Dillo. All right, well, let me try to find another one. Ah, oh, dude. That sucks, man. Ah, oh, that really sucks. Oh, it's a Capro! That sucks even more! Yep, nope. Buddy, we gotta work on you just letting me get bitten, tore up by stuff. All right, try this again. I'm gonna go over this way, try to find one, get away from the Capros. And the berries. <laughs> Is that one over there? Oh, dude, it's another one. Come here, buddy. That's a 145. Dude, I looked everywhere for that other one and couldn't find it anywhere. All I found <laughs> was caparos everywhere. And a spino. We got a huge spino infestation over here. As well as Carnos. So I'm hoping this is enough arrows since we kind of messed up on the first one. If not, I was thinking I was getting ready to tame a frog instead, but it kind of defeats the whole purpose, right? There's no no way to, for that to help us breathe underwater. So it kind of does no good to tame a frog or a berry. There's a ton of berries over here, though. Come on, buddy. I'll have to look and see. We do got some more narcotics on us. We have to make some up some more arrows, though. Dude, don't go this way. Please don't go this way. There we go. Get him stuck. Don't let him back in the water. So I guess he can pass out in the water, though, because he doesn't have an oxygen stat, right? Nope, still too early. There's another one of the things that do... Do the AC kind of thing. Nice. Well. There's one bow down. Okay, cool. Nice. He's out. So there was another Capro over here. Kind of kind of worried about. So how's our prime meat? It's fine. Let's throw this into him. And then let's take out this thing. That'll be some fresh prime meat for us. Oh, dude, he's so loud. That's another 145. Dude, there's a lot of high-level stuff over here. We got two. A whole two. Hopefully he doesn't need too much of that. Let's turn our taming thing on so we can watch him. Because, dude, we really got to pay attention to stuff over here. There's a lot of buildings I kind of want to take a look at that's around here. I don't know if there's anything in them or if they're just for show. And where are we even at? I think over there is where we came in at last time. Yeah, over that way. Okay, cool. So we're just on the other side. I went all the way up over that way. Up over there is where there's a cave. Kind of see it off in the distance. And then there's the Spino and Carnos. Come on, buddy. Take a bite. I want to see how much you get for each one. It's another snake over there. We can get some prime meat from him if we need to. But we'll see. Maybe we'll take a look in that cave before we jump in the water. Just to see what's in there. I didn't go inside. And there's a Circo. Let's just take him out. Yep, it's kind of stuck, ain't you? Uh-huh. That kind of sucks. We'll have to get rid of our polymer whenever we get in the water. I don't know. We'll have to see how his carry weight is. I've only ever tamed one of these, I think, once. 
and I didn't really use them for too much. I think it might have been on Genesis 1. So that was a very, very long time ago. All right, so it looks like it gets about 35% off of each one. So three pieces should be fine. Let's go ahead and just put you on passive since you don't do anything anyways. Always sit there and let me get eight. One, two, three. So yeah, regardless, that should be plenty. Oh, dude, we lost our we lost our feet, man. All right, I'm going to let him tame up. I'm going to go ahead and repair some of my armor. Ah, oh, dude, we need a lot of repairs. I think we have a lot of hide in him, right? Yeah, we do. She to grab some fiber. And as soon as he's ready, we'll take a look in that cave and then go for a swim. Well, there are leeches over here in the swamp. I mean, there should be, right? <laughs> Dude, I was sitting there waiting for old boy to tame up. And uh, saw something coming for me. Didn't click in my head that there are leeches over here. Oh, wait. Is that on him? I thought it was on me. But we have a campfire regardless. I think what we'll do is, as soon as he's ready, it's kind of dark now, obviously. But we'll probably wait until daylight to take a swim. Won't be able to see it underwater anyways. Here we go. A little bit of light for us. Ah, oh, dude, this is a horrible place to be at night. So his oxygen is 3,700. I don't know how much... What is ours? Our stat. There's only 100. Hmm, that should actually last quite a while then. Oh, and he's ready. Fantastic. Well, let's look at his stats real quick. So, tamed out to be a level 213. Health is 1700. Let's turn this off real quick. Health is 1700. Stamina is 709. Oxygen is 5000 after it was tamed. Weight is 240. Damage is 300%. I don't know how he does... So how do we... Is there a saddle for him? There's not. So I wonder how that works. Maybe we just need to throw him in the water. And, uh... Do it that way. Hmm, I don't know. But, we are gonna save it for the morning. Just in case... Wait, what was that? Oh, just meat. Just in case something happens, it is dark. So I will see you back in the morning and we'll check out that cave. Jump in. We're not very far at all from the shore over there. And dude, this is like a super flat area for building. If it wasn't so hostile over here. All right, well, it is getting towards morning. Oh, dude, what are you running from? It always worries me whenever you see a dino running the opposite way and the direction that you're wanting to go, you know? Let's check out this cave real quick. Hopefully there's nothing in there. Dude, I'm so paranoid because we haven't seen the wyverns yet, and I know there are some on this map. His damage is getting up there pretty good. 800%. Another snake. Is this just for building? Oh, dude, that's a fantastic area for building that. Pretty flat. Put a big old gate and door up right there and one there. Put all your stuff up here. That is not bad at all, man. I like how he's got this stuff on the map for building. I mean, other than the snakes, the neighbors aren't safe, man. Never good neighbors anywhere. So let's get over here. I don't know if there's anything in the water at this location, but we'll see. Can we get off the cliff here and get back up if we want to? The main thing I'm kind of worried about is getting in and out if we don't like where we're at. It's kind of a ledge. Well, there's one right here, too. Yep, here's a beach. Nice. Oh, there's a shark. All right, so I want to keep the polymer. We'll drop everything else. How does this work? Do you have to... Let's put you on close follow. Alright. I think we might have to be in the water for it to work. 
Can't you? I thought you could ride them. Oh, you can. Right there. Nice. So it's only in water. Ah, look at us, man. Hopefully we can outrun the sharks. So we'll see how long this lasts. Let's put this into health. I want to keep him alive. So far, the underwater looks pretty cool, man. At least it's not all just flat, you know? It looks like the oxygen's going down fairly slow. Dude, that is awesome! So the main thing we need is some pearls. It's kind of the whole reason of doing this was pearls. Well, and to check it out, you know, there's some oil. Nice, nice, okay. Some sharks, fantastic. Jellyfish, I like it. I mean, not really. <laughs> Jellyfish are never welcome. I wonder if there's any underwater caves. It definitely looks interesting under here. Some little angler fish down there. Is that a dunkle? That is a crazy looking dunkle. Maybe it's a skin on him? Is that a regular dunkle? An, oh, an X dunkle. Interesting. I didn't know those were a thing. It's probably why it looks so different. There's some of the scorpions we can get some pearls and stuff from, like black pearls. That's the bottom of the map. It looks kind of neat, though. I know we got a skill point. I kind of want to get away from the sharks first. Let's put it into stamina. That way, if we have to run, we, we can run. This guy moves pretty quick. Oh, the eels. Now, where are we at? Let's see where we're at, where we're going. Let's head back this way. I'm not seeing any kind of pearls. I figured there would be some around, right? It's a very interesting underwater area, though. Let's start heading towards the other shore. Is that pearls? That's metal. Hmm. Metal nodes underwater. But yeah, we'll head towards this other shore, if anything. We might be able to find them in some of the lakes and stuff, too. Wait, what is that? Just decoration, I guess. Kind of nervous just leaving him sit there, you know? He sure is loud underwater. So can we pick these? I know on... Valgaro, the big ones we could pick. <gasps> Regular silica pearls. Nice! Okay, so they're from the... The big black pearls. So that's where we'll be getting a lot of our pearls from. I'll remember that. I don't want to grab too many now. Just because of his weight. Well, I'll tell you what, let's go up right here. It's kind of safer to fly back across. He is definitely going to work out, though. For swimming around. And dude, it looks like there's pearls all over the place. At least they're not the regular generic kind of sparkly ones. I kind of wonder what those are, though. Put you back in a crowd pod, buddy. Oh, he's gonna work out fantastically. So I definitely need to get his weight up, it seems. And I think his oxygen is good. Oh, that's salt, raw salt. Hmm, let's drop it for now though. I figured it was some kind of salt or something like that. It kind of seems that way, you know? And where's our, okay, he's in there. I didn't want to throw him out thinking it was our wolf, you know? This is the other side, right? It is. Oh, dude, look at that. There's a bridge going somewhere, too. Cool. Well, not too bad of a day. Just a little bit of messing around. I was wanting to get in the water and test that out, and I've been wanting to tame one of those things for swimming around with. Because I think instead of using a, a scuba gear, we can use that because we don't have to repair it, right? And it lasts a lot longer. Maybe take a tank with us just in case when we go on exploration trips or if there's any water caves. But... 
we're gonna go ahead and leave this one here. I think in the next one, we'll do a little bit of flying around and exploring over here just to see what creatures are around and start finding some of the new stuff. But, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.